today I will be showing you, as you can tell from the title above, how I do my full coverage foundation routine. I don't do this every single day, but just every day that I need the coverage. Let me just warn you though, I do a lot of steps to achieve a full coverage just mainly because I'm trying to make it look a lot more flawless since whenever you apply full coverage to your face you're basically washing out all of your everything you know your color your structure of your face so you have to go back and apply those on top of that full coverage so that's why I will be doing all the steps and applying all of the makeup that you're about to see in this video so hopefully my natural babes don't freak out and I'm also gonna show you how I treat my skin whenever it's kind of bad not just cover it because if you're just covering it you're not really fixing the problem so I'm gonna show you how to go in and fix the problem with products that I personally use. I also wanted to thank so so much for those of you who donated to the March of Dimes. I don't know if you guys remember a few videos back I did a video on that so thank you for those of you who did. I really do appreciate it. Me and my family do so much. Also before we start the video I wanted to tell you guys that I will be going to the makeup show in Dallas. I'm really really excited with two of my good friends I can't wait. It's going to be really soon, like in a week. So if you guys are going to be there, let me know in the comments below. And hopefully I will see you there. I can't wait. Okay, let's go watch the video now. So you want to start off with a clean skin like always. I literally just washed my face right now, so I have no product on my face. And before you start applying any makeup on, make sure that you do treat whatever uh, problems you have on your skin. So my problem right now is dry skin and breakouts which means that I have a lot of texture on my face and if I don't try to get rid of some of the texture then my makeup is not gonna look good and it's gonna look cakey because you're just laying makeup um, on top of texture and that just never looks pretty make sure that you just don't try to cover your imperfections you also try to treat them because that's gonna help a lot so with that being said I'm gonna start off by using my dr. Dennis Gross alpha beta peel so there's two steps to this product right here this is your first step and this is the second step the first step is basically going to remove the dead skin cells from the surface of your face so basically what you want to do is take out the little pad and just rub it in circular motions not applying too too much pressure all over your face avoiding the eye area okay so after you're done with your first step you want to make sure that you let the product just sit on your skin for about two minutes until it's completely dry and then you're going to do step number two you're basically going to apply it just like you did with step number one this step though is going to be your treatment which is the product that's going to sink into your skin to kill the bacteria now you're gonna let step number two sit on your skin for about two minutes and then apply your eye cream and face cream the eye cream that I'm gonna be using today is by Bobbi Brown I love this eye cream for underneath my concealer and because my face is so dry I'm gonna be using this Embrolee's hydrating okay now I'm gonna move on to the makeup steps first I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face and this makeup forever primer this is the hydrating one has been so good to me it's also not oily at all it just sinks right into the skin it doesn't leave any weird residue now for my foundation I'm gonna be using my cover effects custom cover drops and I'm gonna be mixing it with with my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. This is going to add extra hydration. Hopefully you guys can see, but I'm basically going to get a clean surface and I already sprayed it like four times. Now I'm gonna take my drops, which by the way, I'm um, the color G30. And since I'm looking for full coverage, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then just with my clean hand, I'm gonna mix all of that around and I just made my own foundation and before I apply it straight onto my face I take my mist and fix one more time and just spray a little bit and then I go ahead and apply it this makes it a lot easier to glide on and to blend so this is my first layer with full coverage foundations I tend to not just apply heavy coverage um, I layer it because since I don't need full coverage every in every single part of my face just on some areas like right here and right here and right here then I just apply more coverage on those areas only now this is the second layer and I'm just tapping it right on the areas that I want to cover more Thank you. 
And for concealer, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier High Coverage Concealer. This is in the number 2. And it's very, very thick, very high coverage. So what I like to do is hold it like this on the back of your hand with your ring finger. Kind of warm it up a little bit, just so whenever you apply it, it's not super, super thick. And you're going to feel the texture change a lot. It's super creamy now. And what I'm going to do is start by applying it right underneath my eye. I usually put a little bit too much product because it is full coverage. I don't want um, it to be creasing. So what I do is I pat and wipe off on a napkin to kind of pick up the extra product. And usually there's a little bit left on the back of my hand, so I try to warm it up really, really good and just apply it to the highlighting point of my face, which is the center of my forehead and my chin. Okay, now I'm going to take this e.l.f. High Definition Powder for underneath the eyes with, well, let's see, this is the e.l.f. Concealer Brush. And I'm going to use this powder to set just underneath my eyes to make sure before you set it that there's no creases because once you set it, you can't go back and move it. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using my Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation Powder with this Cover FX Powder Brush. And I love this, I'm just gonna take very little by the way, just a tiny bit. And I love this powder because it's going to make your face water resistant, which is amazing and for some reason I feel like it helps soften any texture like any pimples it kind of blurs them out which is pretty cool because I can use that okay so I'm back and as you can tell I already have my eyes done which is basically the steps that I take whenever I'm getting ready in the morning now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I apply my bronzer contour and all of that good stuff so for bronzer I use my benefit hula bronzer it's just a nice matte bronzer and apply it to the top of my forehead the sides of my cheek and this is where the huge difference comes from because I'm super super pale and I feel like I look even paler on camera I'm not sure why but um, this is going to add warmth and color back to my face Ta -da! see how that made a huge difference and these two are extra steps. Uh, you don't have to do these, but I just do because I want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour with my Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm just gonna take the middle shade and I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever 152 brush. Take your, whatever contour brush you used and just wipe it off and start to blend right in between the bronzer and the contour and then I also go back with my bronzer brush and just very lightly go over it so they just blend really evenly but I am going to switch brushes to a smaller angled brush and I'm going to take that same contour shade and I'm going to use this one to contour the sides of my nose It looks really, really dark and harsh right now, but I'm going to show you how I blend it. Okay, so this is where the second extra step that you don't have to do comes in. So after that, sometimes I take my contour too far into like my mouth, which you don't want to do because it just looks really weird. So to correct that, I'm going to take a highlighting powder. I'm going to use the Ben Nye Cameo Powder. This is my favorite powder. One, because it keeps me shine free. I'm more dry skin, but this area right here, it's so oily. So if I'm working that day or I know I'm going to have a really long day, then I definitely do have to use this on the center of my face. So all I'm going to do is just... Ooh, and I love the mini beauty blender to apply this powder. It's amazing. I literally had this beauty blender forever, ever since it came out, and I never found a use for it. So all I'm going to do is start by pressing it on the center of my forehead. And whenever I'm applying it on the cheek area, I tend to go over the overdrawn contour on my face and this is basically going to help 
soften the contour and just make it look amazing especially here let me show you real quick especially if you apply it right underneath the contour so here's your contour and if you go right underneath it it'll give you the most beautiful and clean contour of your life okay so after I'm done applying it anywhere that I want it on my face I let it sit on my skin for about five minutes and then I take a fluffy powder brush and just start to wipe off everywhere that I put it and I especially remember how I told you that my contour was really really harsh I just go back with very light pressure and blend out the contour just a little bit so it's there but it's not like too too obvious okay now it's time for the blush and the highlight which are two of my favorite parts of doing my complexion um, and yeah I try to put on a lip but I don't know what I want to do with this blue mascara I'm gonna be using the Benefit Rockateur blush mmm smells so good and it's actually my favorite blush in the world it goes with everything and my Morphe M500 blush brush And with this step, you can apply as much blush as you want. And I feel like I'm in the 80s right now with all this colorful makeup that I have going on my face. Okay, I'm going to soften up my blush just a tad bit. Alrighty, now for a highlight, I'm going to be using my favorite highlight ever, which is the Becca Opal. And this is a Morphe M438 blush. Right. Oh just on this part of the cheekbone. I don't want to take it too low because I have texture right here. And I'm going to take my pinky and just apply some on my cupid's bow. I don't think I want this lip. I'm not really liking it. Okay, now to finish off the face, since I did apply a lot of powders on my face, I'm going to take a setting spray. My favorite one is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. So what I'm going to do is just mist the side of my face, kind of like where my highlight is. And a trick that I like to do that I learned from one of my friends, hi Tiffany, I'm stealing your trick, I hope you don't mind, is to get a fan, good side, and just fan it out. I use this trick to dry my lashes, my lash glue, and my face, just anything, it's amazing. Okay guys, so that's basically all for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something from it. Let me know if you liked it by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos. I am going to be uploading a 4th of July look, which is really cool. I already have it planned out in my head and I'm excited to do that look, but I'm not going to be uploading that until next week. And I'm also going to be doing a review on the new Benefit Colorful Mascaras and Eyeliners, so I'm really excited for those videos. So if you don't want to miss those videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget that you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and also Snapchat. I will have all the links in the description bar below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.